You are the Maccabees, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told Israeli troops in the run-up to the festival of Hanukkah while visiting an IDF commando exercise on Tuesday evening. Once we were like a driven leaf in the wind, and we could be slaughtered. Today we have the power to respond, he said, adding the great answer to anti-Semitism is the State of Israel and the IDF. The Prime Minister observed the forces during the exercise and viewed a presentation on advanced weaponry. President Donald Trump said that one of the main reasons the U.S. is in the Middle East is to help Israel. In an interview with the Washington Post on Tuesday, Trump said that if we're going to stay in that part of the world, one reason to is Israel. Oil is becoming less and less of a reason because we're producing more oil now than we've ever produced. So, you know, all of a sudden it gets to a point where you don't have to stay there, he said. General Tamir Yadai, commander of Israel's Home Front Command, warned on Wednesday that in the next war, people in the city of Tel Aviv won't be drinking coffee, Israel's Mako website reports. The general referred to the fact that Tel Aviv had been relatively unscathed by recent conflicts, but he warned that new and more complex dangers are emerging. The threat on the Israeli home front in the coming war will be very challenging, he said. It's a miracle from heaven, said one proud father, as not one, not two, but three sets of triplets were born on the same day at Tel Aviv's Sheba Medical Center. Dr. Zippy Strauss, head of the neonatal department at Sheba, told daily newspaper Israel Hayom, We sure didn't plan that all of them would give birth on the same day. It was a unique sight. It is appropriate that the three sets of triplets came into the world in November. World Prematurity Day is celebrated on November 17th.